Hello, I'm Dr. Nikhil Gupta. Today, I'm going to tell you how three different categories of drugs may work against the coronavirus COVID-19. I'm also going to explain a new type of drug that is being researched that you may not have heard about yet. More than 300 clinical trials around the world are either planned or ongoing to study the effect of these treatments. This video will help you better understand the results of those clinical studies when they are released. So let's begin. I am going to discuss three things in this video. Number one, how does the virus enter human body cells and makes more copies? What are the potential treatments or drugs that are being studied and how do they work? And last but not the least, a new type of treatment that is being studied against the virus. So let's look at how the virus enters human cells and makes copies of itself. So we all know that this is the SARS-CoV-2 virus. And what it does is it has these spikes or keys which are known as S protein, which attaches to the lock, which is the ACE receptor, ACE2 receptor, which is the lock, which helps the virus enter the cells here. And when, once the virus enters the cells, it unfolds itself and releases its genetic material. This genetic material helps makes proteins such as polypeptides and other proteins which then help the virus make copies of its own genetic material and of other proteins which make the outer surface of the virus. Now all these are put together and they are released as new virus particles outside the cell. Now let's talk about which medication classes are being studied to fight the virus? Class number one, medicines which block the entry of the virus into the cells. So these are Arbidol, Camostat, Chloroquine and Hydroxychloroquine. Class number two, these are medications which block the formation of proteins that help make new virus particles. So these are this and these medications. And class number three, these are medicines which help reduce the immune response against the virus and therefore reduce the inflammation caused by the virus. So let's look at the first class, which is the drugs that block the virus entry into cells. So the first one is chloroquine, which is used for malaria treatment. The second one is hydroxychloroquine, which is used to treat autoimmune conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis and lupus. These two drugs, in addition to blocking the virus from entering the cells, also help modulate body's immune response against the virus so that it is not too much of a response. The third one is Arbidol, which is used for influenza in the past. And the fourth one is Camostat. So these are the drugs that block virus entry into cells and are being studied to fight the virus. Now let's go to the second class of drugs. These are lopinavir or darunavir, these are HIV drugs and ribavirin which is used for hepatitis C and the two new investigational drugs. Now what do these drugs do? They block the virus from replicating or multiplying its genetic material and they also block the formation of viral proteins so that this process of formation of new viral particles is reduced. So what are these drugs? Again. Lopinavir or Ritanovir, also known as Kaletra, this is used for HIV treatment. Ribavirin is being studied, it is used for hepatitis C and some other viruses. Remdesivir is the new investigational drug, which is also being tested, which was tested for Ebola virus during the epidemic a few years ago. And Favipiravir, which is also used for influenza and was tested for Ebola as well. Now, moving on to the third category, of drugs which modulate or reduce the amount of inflammatory response that the body makes against the virus. So these are macrophages which are cells which attack the virus particles but in the process release these inflammatory markers such as IL-6 and other chemicals. What these medicines do is they block the release or they bind these chemicals and reduce the inflammatory response against the virus which can cause damage to our cells such as lungs, the heart, blood vessels, etc. And what are these drugs? 
tocilizumab and sarilumab which were used to manage side effects of certain cancer drugs. Now the other thing that is the problem with this virus is that there are so many virus particles floating around in the bloodstream. So how are we going to target those? So there are studies which have shown that antibodies or immunoglobulins from plasma of recovered patients have been found to be of benefit in other coronavirus infections in the past such as SARS and MERS. So therefore some patients are being treated with antibodies from the blood of recovered patients to see if they can recover and there have been some results which have been encouraging but further studies are being done as well. Now this is the new treatment approach that I discussed at the beginning of the video. So what is this? Researchers at University of British Columbia led by Dr. Joseph Penninger's group have and Apiron Biologics have made this new molecule called APN01. What is this? This is basically a clone of this lock of the human cell which the virus attacks. So they have made a clone of ACE2 which is shown in the blue here. So what happens is when this medicine or drug is administered or given to patients then the hope is that the virus spikes attach to this medication and when the virus spikes attach to this medication they can get inactivated and not be able to attack the actual locks of the cells. So therefore if we are able to inactivate enough viruses the risk of damaging cells or multiplying of the viruses may be reduced. Now this medication is being studied currently in clinical trials. To summarize, what are the COVID-19 potential treatments which are being studied? There are three types of drugs that might work, ones which stop the virus entry, the second types which stop the virus from multiplying after entering the cells and the third ones to reduce inflammation inside the cell or outside the cell, I'm sorry. And the new approach which I discussed was is a drug that sticks to the virus and inactivates it. And the last approach is plasma therapy, which is use of human antibodies from donors who have recovered from the virus. Now, I have not discussed vaccines in this video and I will think about describing that in my next video. Uh, I will keep you updated with the results of clinical trials of these different types of treatments. Please share your feedback in comments below and please do suggest topics for other videos as well. If you like this video, please click the like button and share with your friends and family. To continue to watch, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications of our latest videos. Thank you and have a healthy day.